Hi everyone, I'm back with another AP Statistics video, and today we're going to do a quick video to talk about the standard deviation. Alright, so what is the standard deviation? It's a measure of variability, but that, that definition doesn't help us too much. It simply tells us how spread out the data set is. It tells you how much, how spread it out it is. It's telling you, on average, how far away is a data point from the mean of the overall data set. That's it. That's all it tells you, and that's all you need to know about it. So moving on, here's the formula to calculate the standard deviation. It looks a little confusing, so I'll explain it part by part. If I can find where my mouse went. Oh, there it is. Okay. This part right here, this x minus x bar, of course we know this x bar is the mean, right? And we know x is your data point. So we're subtracting a data point from the mean. And that is a deviation. That's telling us how far away a data point is from the mean. And we're going to square it to get rid of the negative sign so we can add up the sigma right here means we need to add up all of our squared deviations. So we can get a total and divide it by n minus 1. And this n right here is your total number of observations. So if I had 10 data values in a data set, my n would be 10. And what we're doing is essentially adding up all the squared deviations and dividing it by n minus 1 so that we can get an average value for how far away the da each data point is from the mean. The re as to why it is n minus 1, you don't need it. It's not important to know. It's, it is a very important concept in statistics that you will probably learn in like, you know, your junior, senior year of college if you happen to be a statistician. But as far as AP statistics goes, you don't need to worry about it. Also, one other important note, this S is almost always used to denote sample standard deviation. So let's try it. Let's calculate the standard deviation of this data set. There's the formula again. And there's our data set. And I went ahead and calculated your x bar, which is your mean of this data set, and it's 49.375. All right, so I have this handy table with all of my calculations, and I'm going to explain how I got to each each column and show you what it all means. I should notice the very. I want you to note on the far left we have our x's, our data points, our data values, right? And I'm and that's all that left column is, and that's all you need to know about it. Um, I should just point out that this very bottom row right here, this very last, very bottom row, is the sum of each individual column. And then, well, that's important, and we'll get to that in a minute. But just letting you know that the bottom row is the sum of each column. And so we've covered the left column, it's just our data points, and then the middle column is our deviations. We're sub simply subtracting a data point from the mean. So for the, this first negative 34.375, I simply subtracted 15 from, or, I simply subtracted 49.375 from 15. This, ne this negative 13.375, 36 minus 49.375. This, this next, this 35.625, 85 minus 49.375, and so on and so on and so on. And then of course this bottom, this bottom row is the sum of our middle column. And notice how it's zero. Important point to know: when you uh, add all of your deviations together it will, at least the, your deviations from the mean, if you add them all together, they absolutely should equal to zero. If not, you've done something wrong and you need to go back and check your calculations. But since we they equal, since when we add all of our deviations together, which is our differences from the mean, when we add all our deviations together, it equals zero. So we're good. And then we square our deviations, simply so that we can get rid of the negative sign. So we add those, we add all of our deviations, so we add up all the numbers in this column, and we get 7,311.87. And of course, once we get that sum, we divide it by n minus 1. And remember, our n would be 8 in this case. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 data points. And 8 minus 1 is obviously 7. And that gets us this 1,044.552. We have to, of course, take the square root. And we get our standard deviation as 32.319. And that's essentially saying, on average, there's a difference of 32.319 between any individual data value and the mean. <laughs> that was a lot of information, so um, I know it's a little confusing, but with practice, you'll definitely you will definitely have a lot easier time calculating the standard deviation. And good news, very rarely will AP Statistics require you to calculate it by hand. It'll most likely be done by the calculator. For the AP Statistics test overall, it is important to know that the larger the standard deviation of a sample or a population is, the more spread out the data set is, and the more variability the data set has. Think of it this way. 
If you have a very large range of data, then your standard deviation is going to be very large to show that. If you have a very small range for your data, then you're going to have a very small standard deviation. The point is, the bigger the standard deviation, the more spread out the numbers are, the, the greater the difference between your data points. All right, that covers the standard deviation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, take a, let us know how you, what you thought in the comments, and feel free to make suggestions.